So the title of the talk uh, is Lessons Learned, Scraping 9 Billion Pages Per Month. Um, but I'm first up for a full-length talk today, and we have a very excellent lineup of people who are also talking about lessons learned. So for me to carve out a niche here, um, I'm first going to meet my promise of giving a quick overview of the data market, what people are asking for, a couple of new trends, new use cases that are arising. But I also wanted to make this very practical. Uh, something that you can take from this, hopefully, um, would be uh, how to take a look at a project up front and use these lessons learned to design a good project that will... Uh, um, here are some questions if you are involved on either side of this. I know I might want to actually answer some questions of my own, so I won't go down through these in an itemized way. But if you are a stakeholder in a project like this, you should expect to be answered certain questions. And it will really lubricate things if you have got this mindset in advance of your first meeting with your technical team, your technical leads. If you are the technical lead, you know, hopefully this isn't your first time uh, starting a web data project. Hopefully you've already made all the mistakes you're going to make in your career. But, you know, just to remember these key questions, you need to know, um, like, what websites are they going for? Am I familiar with these websites? What's the metaphor of these websites? What answers are the websites built to give? Can they give consistent data? Can they give high quality data? Can what I'm being asked to get, can what I'm being asked to do match the why and the requirement that the, that the stakeholder wants? Um, because that will often be left to you. You can't just build the thing to spec and blame the person later because you're probably the subject matter expert. Um, and also crucially, this is where the algorithmic complexity comes in and why the question matching the answer is really crucial. What traffic throughput is required? Because the, one of the biggest cost centers for many reasons, including antibot, including just config, including being a good web citizen, keeping traffic low is a really important part of delivering a maintainable and a sustainable web data project. And if you can get all this stuff right, everybody gets a tire swing, and we build better things on top of those. So thanks very much.